My name is Nick. This is a quick instructional video on how to connect your MetaTrader terminal to our copier so you can start receiving trades. Now you'll see I, in this situation, I'll choose direct broker connection. Uh, this connection method means that you do not need to install anything onto your MetaTrader terminal. Um, we connect directly to your broker server, which basically means that you can turn it all off and you'll still receive signals because uh, we communicate directly to your broker. So to set this up, all you need to do is put in your account details here. I've set up a demo account to show you how it works. Now when you're putting in your password information, make sure that you put in your master password, not your investor password. Uh, it's just like you are using the MetaTrader terminal to log in. So you also need to select your server. So your Pepperstone have quite a few to choose from here, so make sure you get the right one. Validate account. You'll see that it confirms that this account has a balance of $5,000 um, and it's connected successfully. Broker suffix, this is relevant if your broker has a character after the pair names. For example, IC Markets, they have a character I after the pair. So if you saw the Euro dollar on your MetaTrader terminal, you'd see EURUSD and the character I. So if you're in a situation like this, you need to put just the suffix into this field. Now the slippage in pips, this is relevant if the pricing is different on your account to the master account. Uh, the pricing might be different just due to the broker being different or it might be due to uh, fast movements in the market. Default is three pips. This means that if the pricing is more than three pips um, from the master account, it won't open a trade. However, not, however, it will only not open a trade if it is in a negative position for you. So if it's positive slippage, you will still get that trade opened. Trade comment. This is relevant if you need to trade multiple signals on what account and you want to um, confirm the profitability of each signal and track its performance. Um, otherwise, just leave that blank if you're only doing one signal. Click this if you no longer want to copy the trades because remember, it's communicating directly to your broker. So the only way to disable this copier is to click this box. By default, you'll be alerted by email if your signal disconnects. So you just leave that. Now, copy take profit, copy stop loss. This is used to transmit the fixed take profit and the fixed stop loss levels to your broker. So, for example, if you're worried about broker manipulation, you might want to select this as no, which will mean that your broker has no knowledge of the stop loss or take profit levels um, of the master accounts. However, you will still be exited from your trades if the master account closes their trades. So you'll benefit from their stop and take profit levels. Um, your broker will just have no knowledge of this. Okay, and that's the end of this screen. Now we move on to money management in the next video.